We usually set up our agents using a neutral pose like the T pose, as we did in the previous video. Now that our agent node is set up, we can move on to the next step and add some animations to our agent, or as Houdini calls them, clips. Go back to Mixamo and make sure you've selected the same character that you have configured as agent in Houdini. This is very important. If I choose a different character here, its rig or skeleton will be different than the one I'm using in Houdini. If we use an animation that has been made for a bigger character than the one I'm using, the rigs won't match and our character will break. So make sure to choose the same character as before, our mannequin. Let's click on the animations tab and look for a walk cycle by typing walk in this search field. Now we have to go through the same steps as before. The only difference is that now we don't want to download the animation with the skin because we already have it. Now we need only the rig, the animated skeleton, so I'll choose without skin. This way your FBX file will be a lot lighter. Here is my characters folder. Inside the folder I have the T-Pose that I downloaded before and what I'll do now is create a new folder called Anim, where I will store my animation clips. When it comes to naming the files, I would suggest to do it in a specific way to keep it as organized as possible and get used to naming conventions. This is what I usually do. First, the name of the character, mannequin, underscore, the animation itself, what the character is doing in this clip, walk, underscore, how the character is doing that thing. In this case, I will say neutral because the character is just walking in a neutral way. Underscore, now I say whether the animation is supposed to have some kind of prop or not. If my character were holding a sword or something, I would put here sword. But in this case, since I don't have any prop, I'll put no prop. Underscore, and finally, a counter, zero, one. If I later on download a new walk clip, I will call it 02, 03, and so on. You don't have to name your files exactly this way. This is how I do it, but you can call your files whatever you want. How can I add the animation I just downloaded to my agent here in Houdini? I'm going to use the agent clip node. Let's create a new agent clip node and you'll see here that the first input is asking for agents. So I'll connect this to my agent node. Display the agent clip node by clicking on this blue flag and on the parameters window on the bottom, this is where I tell Houdini which animation or clip I want to use. Because I'm using FBX files, I'll select the FBX option from the list and search for the animation I just downloaded from Mixamo. On the name parameter, I'll set a name for this animation clip. I usually call it the same as the file I'm using. So let me copy and paste this. Okay, now I want my agent to play this new clip. But how can I do that? Go to the top on the parameters window and here in the clip preview section, turn on the set current clip and choose the clip you want your agent to play. Press play and if your agent is moving too fast, like mine, it's because by default Houdini will try to play the animation as fast as possible. To avoid that, you just have to click on this watch on the bottom left corner and it will play normal speed, which is 24 frames per second or whatever your frame rate is. Great, so here is our character, our mannequin walking forward. You'll see that there's something wrong with the animation. Our agent starts walking and then 
after some time, it goes back to the beginning. This is happening because this animation was made by moving the character from this point, the zero point. This circle we see here pulsating represents the origin point of the agent. The agent moves away from that point, but when the animation ends, the agent goes back to its origin point. In other words, the agent is not moving in the Houdini space, but in his own animation space. In order to fix this, we have to check this box on the parameters window on the bottom called Convert to in place Animation. As soon as you check it, you'll get this warning sign, but don't worry, we are going to fix it right now. Let's go to the top of the parameters window to this section called Locomotion Settings. This parameter is the one that will fix this error. The locomotion node is the part of the body that will direct the motion of our character. For bipeds, it's usually the hips. When you walk, the motion comes from the hips. Clicking on this arrow, you'll see a list with all the joints our character has. We want the hips. Here they are. My character has been brought back to life. And the other parameter, Locomotion Orient, determines the orientation of our motion. For bipeds, it's usually the hips too. Press play and you'll see your mannequin walking but staying in place. Our mannequin is now fixed in its origin point, the zero point. This is what Convert to In Place Animation does. When we turn on the Convert to In Place Animation thing, the motion of our character, the one we had before where the mannequin moved forward, is stored in a channel called Locomotion. If we go to the top of the parameters window, we see there is an option turned on that says Create Locomotion Joint. That's why our character no longer moves forward, because its motion is no longer here. We have removed that motion from our character and we've saved it in a channel called Locomotion, which is currently deactivated. If we now want our character to move forward, as before, what we have to do is activate that Locomotion channel. And we can do that by turning on Apply Clip Locomotion, here in the Clip Preview section. Our character will now be able to move around. By activating this, the motion that we removed from the character and saved in that locomotion channel is applied again to our character. But this time, the Houdini way. Our mannequin will now move in the Houdini space. If we want to add more animations or clips to our agent, we would repeat the same steps as before. Let's go to Mixamo and look for a run animation. I like this one here, so I'll click download. I'm going to keep the same options as before, without skin, because I just want the rig. Go back to Houdini, and in the agent clip node, we can add all the animations we want. Click on the plus button to create a new field. Set the input to FBX. Choose the FBX file you just downloaded, give it a name, and check Convert to In-Place Animation. Now, since we already set up the locomotion thing, we just have to go to the top, the Clip Preview section, and instead of playing the Walk clip, let's put the Run clip. Make sure the Apply Clip locomotion is activated, and press Play to see your agent running. 